We're here with one of my favorite senators, Senator Tom Cotton. Senator Cotton, uh, you saw what Israel did, we all did, uh, a few days back in uh, making it clear to Iran, uh, hello, we can hit you very hard and we can do it anytime we want in any way we want. But I, I'm deeply troubled by the, um, the, the fusion of domestic politics and foreign policy in the Biden administration. He says nothing, not a word, about this massive spread of anti-Semitism. It's coming from his voters. It's coming from his universities. It's coming from the corner of his politics. We see it in Congress as well. And this is linked to these groups that are being heavily funded by Democrat Party dark money. And it's now affecting, literally, our foreign policy. Israel, if you go on offense, we will not support you. Israel, you cannot finish off Hamas. Israel, you better not take on Hezbollah while they lifted all the major sanctions against Iran. What do you make of this? Mark, good to be back on with you. Uh, Joe Biden and the Democratic Party have linked uh, their electoral calculus for this fall with foreign policy, specifically with this war on Israel. Um, my question is, is which version of linkage? Many people say, like, well, they're worried about losing Arab American voters in Michigan, or they're worried about losing progressives on college campuses. It's a core part of their electoral coalition in November. So they have to take certain steps to placate them. Uh, maybe that's true. But I fear what is really happening here is a second kind of linkage, is that they see those Arab American voters in Michigan. They see progressives on college campuses protesting and rioting, and they want to use that as a pretext to justify what they've always really wanted to do, what they wanted to do going back to the Obama era, which is get, quote unquote, daylight from Israel. So it's not so much that they're worried about reelection, it's that they're using those concerns about reelection as a pretext or a justification to finally take steps towards Israel and Iran that they've always wanted to do from the very beginning of the Obama Biden presidency. Presidency. Now, what does that look like? It looks like threatening Israel with cutting them, cutting off their weapon supply, or accusing them of war crimes, or putting sanctions, or revoking visas from Israelis living in Judea and Samaria who are trying to defend their communities from Palestinian violence. It's exactly what you saw last weekend when Joe Biden urged Israel not to hit back after they'd been struck with 300 missiles and drones saying that they should, quote unquote, take the win, immediately leaking those comments to the media to heighten the pressure on Prime Minister Netanyahu. I don't understand how it's a win when even though you intercepted more than 99 percent of them, your country was targeted with the largest missile and drone attack in modern times. And the administration continues to pull its punches towards Iran as well. Going back to the beginning of the Obama administration, they wanted to elevate Iran. They viewed the tensions between Iran and America as America's fault, going back decades. And Barack Obama and Joe Biden thought if we would just atone for our supposed sins and pull in our horns against Iran and let Iran become a normal nation and check itself off against Israel and its Arab friends in the region, then America wouldn't have to do so much in the Middle East. That's why you haven't really seen a single change in our, in our Iran policy, not just since last week, but since October 7th. They let sanctions on missiles expire last month. They have not reimposed the so-called snapback sanctions from the Iran nuclear deal even after last weekend. They have not, for instance, enforced the oil uh, export sanctions against Iran, which is giving Iran tens of billions of dollars every single month. All these things show that they are not taking this threat seriously, that they have a grand ideological theory about the Middle East, which is not only dangerous for Israel and our Arab friends, but is very dangerous for America as well. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.